Anna J. If you haven't already or you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. Today, we're going to be exploring area by reading the book Bigger, Better, Best by Stuart J. Murphy and illustrated by Marsha Winborn. Let's dive into it. Area is the amount of square units inside a two-dimensional figure. Bigger, better, best. Mine's the best. No, mine. It's not. It's two. Oh, no. What's going on between these siblings? Jill shared a room with her older sister, Jenny. Their brother, Jeff, had a tiny room right across the hall. Every morning when she woke up, Jill could hear Jeff and Jenny arguing. My backpack can hold more books than yours, Jeff said. But mine's purple and yours is green. Purple's better, Jenny answered. Jill stuck her head under the pillow. Mine has an airplane. Pooh. Mine has ducks. Ducks are better. Every night when she went to sleep, Jill can hear Jeff and Jenny arguing. My book's got more pictures than yours, Jenny said. But mine's got more pages, Jeff answered. So what? Mine's in color. Oh yeah? Mine's in French. Jill put her fingers in her ears. My book's the best, she whispered to Fudge. Look, it's about a cat just like you. One day, Mom and Dad announced that the family was going to move to a new house. The house was so big that Jill, Jenny, and Jeff could each have their own room. My room will be the best, said Jeff. No, mine will, said Jenny. Will Fudge get his own room too, asked Jill. Cats don't need their own rooms, said Mom. Everyone wanted to see the new house. So they piled into the car. Jill brought fudge. When they got there, Jeff and Jenny ran right upstairs to see their rooms. Ha, I told you my room is better, Jenny said. Look how big my window is. It's humongous. I've got a window too, said Jeff. Bet mine's bigger. Stop arguing, you two, said Mom. Here, take this pad of paper and cover your windows. If it takes more sheets to cover one of the windows, then you'll know that that one has the larger area. Remember, area is how many square units can fit inside a 2D shape. Jill helped Jeff tape sheets of paper up one side of his window. It's three sheets high, Jeff announced. Then, he made as many rows as he could across the window. I can make four rows, he said. That's 12 sheets of paper in all. See, mine's way bigger. So, it's 12 sheets of paper in all, because three times four, three columns, four rows, is 12. They ran to Jenny's room. My window is two sheets high. I can only make two rows, Jenny announced, but it's really long. And long's better. Yeah, if you're a snake. She covered the entire window with sheets of paper. I can fit six sheets across, she said. That would make 12 sheets of window in all. Exactly the same, said Jill. Can I have a piece of paper? Rats. But mine's pretty and pretty's better. This is a pretty raw small room, sis, said Jeff. I bet mine is bigger than yours. No, it's not, said Jenny. Yes, it is, said Jeff. Uh-uh, yours is way smaller. Quiet down, said Dad. That paper is too small. Here, you can use this old newspaper to see which room has a larger area. 
Jenny taped sheet after sheet of newspaper along one of her walls. My room is six sheets wide, she announced. Then Jill helped her tape sheets along the next wall. That's five sheets, said Jenny. So if I covered the whole floor with newspaper, that would be 30 sheets in all. Because five times six is 30. Does it smell like fish in here? Well, I know my room's bigger, said Jeff. He grabbed the rest of the newspaper and ran to his room. He taped sheets along one wall. It's six sheets wide, he shouted. Then Jeff put as many sheets as he could along the next wall. They were four sheets in all. It would take 24 sheets to cover the whole floor, he said. See, mine's bigger, said Jenny. Mine's better, I win. Wait, said Jill, what about that little part in front of the closet? Jeff taped down more newspaper. There were two rows of three sheets each. That's 24 sheets plus six sheets. That makes it 30 sheets in all, said Jeff. Exactly the same again, said Jill. Hey, look at this ad. Sheesh. <laughs> Well, my room's better than yours because it's closer to the bathroom, said Jenny. Ha, said Jeff. Mine's better because it's closer to the kitchen. You know what, said Jill? I think I have the best room in the house. Jeff and Jenny looked at her in surprise. But your room is the smallest, Jenny pointed out. And you've just got one little window, Jeff added. I know, said Jill. But my room is the farthest away from you two, and it's the closest to Fudge. Okay, Mama Editions, let's go over how to find the area of a shape by looking at Jeff's and Jenny's window. Looking at Jeff's window, we can see that the length is three, three units, and the width is four, four units. To find area, you have to do a equals length times width. In this case, that means that A area equals three times four, which means that area equals 12. Let's look at Jenny's window. We have our length of two and our width of six. Area equals length times width, which means area equals 2 times 6, which is 12, meaning that both of their windows have an area of 12 square units. Okay, now let's look at Jenny and Jeff's room. Starting with Jenny's room, we can see that the length is 6 units and the width is 5 units. As we know that area equals length times width, we know that area equals six times five for Jenny's room, which means that area equals 30 units. But looking at Jeff's room, this shape would be pretty hard to do in this way. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this section of the room. First, I'm gonna solve this section of the room, the non-highlighted part. Then I'm gonna do the highlighted part and add the square units together to find the total area. So if area equals length times width, that means for this part, area equals four times six, the length and the width. That means for this part, Area equals 24. Now we just gotta do this part. If area equals length times width, area equals three times two, which means area equals six. Now we're not done yet. We still gotta add these two square units. 24 plus six equals 30 meaning that Jeff's room and Jenny's room area is 30 square units.
Hey, mathematicians, what did we learn today? We learned that area is how many square units are in a two-dimensional shape. We also learned that to find area, you can count the squares in the shape or use the formula area equals length times width. And finally, when you have a composite figure, you need to break up the shape into two figures. Then you count the number of squares or you use the formula. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, mathematicians!